I did on the field, you know, as long as, as we, you know, you would get the, the dub, I mean, that mean, that would mean a lot to me. But you know, um, today, I mean, I just felt like I didn't do enough for my team. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, we did. Um, we went into halftime. We felt like we had on the roll, so we just kind of like kept going with it. Tom, what do you think of Jeff Duffy and his ability to come in the second half and still give you guys a lot of chances to win the game? I think he did an awesome job. You know, um, like we always say, you know, the next guy up just got to make plays, and that's what I feel like he did tonight. Just doing the little things right. That's all. I mean, I felt like we did do the little things right in practice, but um, didn't do as much in the game. So. Defense played throughout throughout the game. Uh, you know, I thought we were off and on. Uh, you know, I thought there were some good times, but you know, you lose and you let up 52 points. You know, it's not a good day for the defense. But I mean, it's a good offense we were playing, but I think we could have played better. Against an offense like this, can you do you try not to get bogged down? With, you know, because you, you know they're going to score the points, they're going to get their yards. Do you just have to put take each drive as its own, or how do you not let yourself look up and say they've got 500 yards or so, you know, so many points? Or how do you stay positive? Uh, I mean, you just got to make them earn every play. You know, you can't give can't give up big shots. You know, you, you gotta you gotta do your job. Uh, you know, when you're playing a good up tempo team like that, you know. It's just about making them earn it. Every single play, just make them do something that, you know, that beats us by them earning it, you know. Obviously, they're known for, you know, Kyle Murray, their wide receiver. It seems like their running game really got going, especially their lane. Is that, is that what you expect them to do? Because they knew you guys would probably try to take their what, what, what did you see from the running game, I guess? Uh, you know, they ran well when, when they needed to, like you said, but, I mean, I didn't think it was anything special. We we got to be better at you know getting the offense the ball back right there at the end of the game. It seemed like you guys have really wanted to you know, see Larry Marcus Brown, two of the best receivers. I mean, really in the country. It seemed like you guys did really well. So what was the game? Was the game going to try to limit those two, make other guys make plays? Uh, I mean, we didn't really look at it like that. You know, we we played Ole Miss receivers, we played Houston receivers. So, I mean, it, it it's just another day. You know, we we just talked game plan and we did what. We were supposed to, but I mean, we did a good job holding those guys. But you know, you still lose and you still gave up 52 points. So obviously, we didn't do something right. There was a couple of things that the game that had to be good, really big, just to get your guys, you know, feel like you were in the game, like getting that fuel going. What, what did that feel like on the sideline? You guys as a defensive Yeah, it, 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 it's exciting, you know, especially for a guy like Vonte, who I mean, Vonte's been working his butt off. Yeah, so, I mean, just to get those two to start the game off, you know, it's ideal. It's it's what you want as a defense. And, you know, I was excited for us, the whole team, but I was really excited for Vontae as well. You know, he's earned that. Does that seem like something you guys can take forward? And more games because it was right, you know, right off the bat, this guy does really throw a whole lot of picks. That's something that can translate to future games. Uh, yeah, of course, you know. It, it's always a good thing when, you know, first quarter you get two interceptions, especially – where the where the ball was at the time, so you know it, it'd be nice to start every game off with two interceptions. But I mean, we just got to keep coming to work. We got to come back tomorrow and you know grind our face off and go and beat Texas. Coach you mentioned that fight's been there. Is, does it feel like with just the different first you face with this the second time Allen's gone out? Is that is that fight even more amplified in a game like this, or where do you think that's at with this team? Uh, you know, I think Allen's a great quarterback. But, I mean, just like Antoine said, it's the next man up thing. So, you know, if Allen's in there, if Jet's in there, we have a chance to win. But we just got to get a stop right there at the end. We can't let them run into the end zone when we know they're going to run the ball. You talked about Vontae. Can you talk about that day hit that he had made on the tight end and dropped him? Yeah. I mean, shoot. They try to call targeting about every other, every other game on Vontae. So, I mean, it's what he's known for. I mean. He loves the game. He plays with a lot of passion. He works really hard. 
I'm just excited about everything that he's doing for us. Yeah, definitely. You know, we, we just preached little things all week. How would you compare Calvary to the other key quarterbacks you faced so far this season? Uh, you know, I thought I thought we got off to a good start. You know, those two interceptions. I mean, we haven't had a lot of quarterbacks do that in the first half. But I mean, he's next level speed. I, I had a sack easy, and he just outran me around the corner. So, you know, I mean, we got to play better. Uh, especially if we're going against a guy like that. But I, I didn't think he was anything that we couldn't beat, that we couldn't stop. So, But props to him. He played a good game. He battled back after those two interceptions. You know, it's hard to think about next week already, but the crowd was big back in the States. You were interacting with yeah. How big will they be next week? Shoot. I mean, you can just feel it. I mean, it's tough to come into the Jones and play, especially with a big crowd like that. Uh, I'm excited for next week because I'm I know our fans don't like Texas so they're gonna show up and they're gonna be loud and just hoping it's another night game because I, I enjoyed it